Five starts now. I couldn't really believe it at first. I said, why would somebody want to do something like that? A local church targeted by thieves. Good evening, I'm Tiffany Kenny. And I'm Victor Blackwell. Thanks for joining us tonight. The big story this evening, thieves steal a truck and $30,000 worth of music equipment from the Calvary Jupiter Church. And as Angela Rozier explains, it is not the first time thieves have hit this church. Angela? No, it's not. As a matter of fact, several years ago, someone stole a trailer and it was never recovered. So you may think maybe this time around, folks here would be upset. Not really. One woman tells me she is willing to forgive the person who borrowed their truck without asking. Glorious and marvelous and awesome is our God. This is what it's all about here at the Calvary Jupiter Church, worshiping with song. But Sunday morning, all that was interrupted. I walked in this morning and was just really surprised that somebody, somebody could take a church truck with the Calvary Jupiter logo and all of our equipment inside. I couldn't really believe it at first. I said, why would somebody want to do something like that? Someone stole the church's truck. The $20,000 vehicle seen here is used to transport the youth group's musical gear, which is worth about $30,000. It was all of our sound equipment, all of our video um, and presentation equipment, uh, screens. <laughs> These photos show the group in action using their portable gear. They were ministering through song for a group of middle and high school students at an off-church site in the community. It definitely throws a, a wrench into what we do, but, you know, we can overcome it. Members of the youth group feel the same way. It's disappointing, but it's not going to slow us down at all. I mean, that's not going to stop us. It's not, it's, we can't do it anymore right now. It's going to take us a couple months to get back, but we're going to come back, you know, stronger than ever and keep going. But they also admit they would sure like to have their truck and equipment back. If the person who borrowed your truck yes. <laughs> is watching this newscast, what would you want to say to that person? Um, we love you and we're here for you and we would just absolutely appreciate um, our truck back and just know that um, we forgive and we would love for you to come join our church some Sunday. And the youth pastor tells me they are getting ready right now to get through all the paperwork and all the information together to hand to the insurance company. If you know anything about this case, contact police. In Jupiter, Angela Rosier, WPBF News 25. A birthday wish for a terminally ill Royal Palm Beach girl went up in flames. Victoria.